Now let's say that you want to add a flange pair at location or node number 50. Um, this is required so that uh, this piece of pipe, this much, can be generated or made fabricated as a spool piece in the fabrication shop and then brought in. Now to add a flange pair at the node number 50, we need to go click on this button Val and flange database and what we want is we want a flange pair. For the flange, the only end type of possible is a flange. You cannot have a no flange at a flange pair or a thread or a socket. And let's assume that it will be class 300 flange. Um, it's asking whether you want it as the whole element. You want it at a from end, as in from end of 40, or you want it at a two end. As we wanted it at node number 50, which is this node here, we'll say we want it at two end. And if you want to activate flange check, which will be catered for in the later um, videos, you can take this. For the time being, we'll just untick, keep it unticked and we'll just say OK. As you can see, a flange pair has been added at the location number 50. So what actually happened? What happened is a new node, node number 45, was added in between 40 and 50. And then between the nodes or on the element of or between 45 and 50, a flange pair with the proper dimension and also a weight equivalent to the weight of two 300 pound flange in DN300 pipe were added to this. That is how you add a flange pair to the model.